Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat from PeptideCritic.com. And today, I'm gonna to show you guys a quick way to filter your peptides into a pen cartridge. Uh, this is something that if you're moving your peptides out of its original vial, you absolutely uh, should do in your research. Uh, Randy demands it, so that's what we do for him. Uh, Randy's gonna be doing some uh, TB4. Uh, he's gonna be doing a milligram uh, twice a week. And um, Randy loves pens. So the first step, always, is to sterilize anything you puncture. So we are going to rub an alcohol wipe on the surface of the uh, stopper there. We're gonna do the pen top as well, because we're gonna use this later. Okay, put that over here. Cool. And this is a very straightforward process. Drop your peptide. Still some vacuum in there. There we go, got it all. Cool. So we have our peptide in here. Um, this needle has punctured the vial and the peptide has gone through it. So the big mistake people make is they'll take this, they'll cover it and they'll be like, oh, it's still, still sterile. It's not. Um, and so we have our peptide in here, which is great. So we'll just leave that there. It doesn't leak out if you put it on its side like that, but this is the business end, so don't touch that. This entire surface was sterilized with 90 something percent isopropyl alcohol prior to doing this, and my hands were washed thoroughly. Now we have two different types of filters. These are uh, 0.22 uh, PES filters. One is a uh, four millimeter, and one is a 13 millimeter. Now, uh, the general consensus is this will remove any sort of uh, uh, particulate, which can happen sadly with some of these vendors, and uh, it can remove, uh, you know, bacteria if it happens to be present, which is pretty rare. So, you know, it's it's not a bad idea, uh, and uh, so we do it. The four millimeter is good for about one milliliter. Uh, you can use it for more, but it starts to stop up. Uh, the reason you would use this is if you're uh, just doing one milliliter, one point five and uh, you don't wanna waste any peptide because it's horribly expensive. The 13 millimeter, uh, it wastes about 10 units. Um, this wastes about three, um, but the 13 millimeters are cheaper. Uh, they, uh, the peptide moves through the filter quicker and uh, yeah, like these are about 50 cents each. These are about $4 each. So it just it gives you an idea. I usually default to the 13s and you know, TB500 is a fairly inexpensive peptide as peptides go. So that's why I'm choosing the 13 millimeter. And I'm also doing 1.4 milliliters on this. So that's really at the edge. So you just put it in, get it on with the lure lock. Now this is a, this is a slip lock. So it's not, it doesn't uh, notch in, but these lure lock needles slide right on. So what we'll do, So we slide it on, we leave the needle covered, and we bring our pen cartridge over. And again, I sterilize the top of the pen cartridge. Put a breather needle. What we like to do is get it in there right on the side, at a slight angle. So insert it and get it right on the edge of barely being in there so you can just see the tip. And that's good. Now when you pull this off, when you pull this guy off, um, if you just try and pull it off, it could pull the, it could pull the uh, needle with it. So I always hold down with my thumb and then pull off. Good to go. And all we do is we insert it and press. That's literally it. A lot of people, uh, and even friends, have recently uh, questioned me about filtering, and 
the one thing they're always saying is, well, I just have to get better at reconstituting. I have to, I have to get better at it. And it's, it's like, no, reconstituting simple. This is all simple. A lot of people like to make it sound like it's a uh, hard process, but it's not. And there's that. It's a filtered peptide. All I have to do now is purge the air from this, throw it in a pen, throw a label on it, and throw it in the fridge. So I'm gonna cover my needles because that is the responsible thing to do. I wanna poke myself. I'll throw those in a sharp spin and call it good. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment or reach out via email. And as always, thanks for tuning in from Randy the Research Rat and Jeff at peptidecritic.com.